All right, getting started. Put the Beavis and Butthead Do You CD in your CD drive. Done. If you have Auto Run enabled, the installation will launch automatically. Good. If you don't have Auto Run enabled, click the Start button and click Run. In the command line, type D Setup EXE. Follow the on-screen prompts and install uh, to install and set up the game. Okay. Okay. Z Club. Dolomite with the 85 months. Thank you, Dolomite. I know you spent time and money on it. I know. I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just grumpy today. I'm just fucking grumpy is all. All right, let's see if we have the system requirements we need. Windows 95 or 98. Uh, Doros 1986, thank you for the 12 months. There it is. I need TP for my bunghole. <laughs> she sounds so sad. I need TP for my bunghole. Thank you, me with the 18 months. Appreciate <laughs> it. She does need, she needs TP for a bunghole. I'm the love of man. You should be paying me, bitch. <laughs> All right, system requirements. Windows 95, Windows 98. Uh, a P133 megahertz or better, 166 recommended. 16 megabytes of RAM, 32 recommended. <clears throat> Two megabyte video card, four megabyte recommended. Four X CD ROM, eight X or higher recommended. Sound Blaster compatible sound card. Hey, pretty straightforward, honestly. Pretty straightforward. And with that new Windows 8 that we have, I mean. I think I think it should just I think it should just run real good, but first, as always, we try and uh run it on Windows 10 first. Oh my god, look at that icon. Wow, that looks horrible. <laughs> See what happens. Nope. Okay, 64-bit Windows, yep. Nope, not gonna work. Okay. So that means... To the Windows 98 machine! Wait a minute, what? Wait, was this one? I was doing this one for something else, right? Why does it say soft GPU on it? Hmm. Pretty sure this is the one I wanted. Powered off since the 23rd, so four days ago. Shit. Has to be that one. Has to be, right? Right? Oh, we know, we'll know by the wallpaper. No, it is not this one. Ow, fuck! Yeah, this is the one I never got set up. Yep, this is the one I never got set up. <clears throat> Now, why won't this one run, though? What happened to it? What the fuck? Wait, what Oracle am I running? I'm running the 7 one, right? Or a 0 0.7? There's a, I thought I made a snapshot of this! Did I not make a snapshot of this? Motherfucker! Why is it inaccessible? 
Snapshots. Yeah, see what what the fuck? Okay, it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be too hard though. It shouldn't be too hard though. Uh oh, I'm going to fucking yeah. Let's there you go. Remove that one. Yeah, that's the one that I that I tried and then I couldn't get it to work. Now this one. I don't know what, what made it inaccessible now. Oh, maybe it's the, the, oh, it's pointing to a thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, the, the path wasn't found. Okay, it's, it's pointing to a thing that's not there that I moved. Okay, I moved it. Where did I move it? Oh, it was on my desktop. Ah, this is it, right? Or no, 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 no. It was. Oh, what was the name of it? <laughs> this is all the shit. By the way, I've I've been keeping a folder of just the stuff from this year. This is all the the patches, the the the. You know, ISOs, all the fixes, everything. The programs, this is all from this year that the shit we've gotten to try and make shit work right. Um. Oh, is this, it is, oh, it's this, the bottom file folder? The, the RAR file? Oh, oh, right there! Ah! It's right here! Oh, it's right here! Oh, it's right here! It's right here! Oh, it's right here! Thank you. File folder. 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 You know what a folder is, idiot? Ha-ha! Found it! Just had to move it back to where it knows where it was. There it is. Now it sees it. Fucking... Sometimes the simplest things are just so elusive to me. Okay. So. What? <laughs> now, what did I play on this? I don't remember what I played. You know what? Fuck it. Let's fire it up. Let's fire it up. Changed. We have the snapshot of the immaculate. Uh, OS. Right, right. The volume's pumped up on this version of 98. In your title. Forgot. Everybody awake? Okay. Why do you have Beavis and Butthead in your title? What do you mean, why do I have Beavis and Butthead in my title? Oh, because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to run Beavis and Butthead. There it is right there. Uh, okay. Display settings. Let's make it. Wait. Yay, you're playing our game. I've been waiting for this. My son is bummed he can't watch because he's at work and this stream is not. Is not safe for retail, lol. Yes, I am. I am playing your game. Um. Does it say what resolution it likes? It doesn't. Well, it's made for 95 and 98, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one. The 1024 and see if that works. Okay, that's what I had it set at anyways. Okay, good. All right. So. This should close that. I should just be able to double click. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, install game. There it is. Welcome to, to the Beavis and Butter Do You setup program. Okay. Next. That's good. Nope. Complete install, please. Yeah. 242 megabytes, please. We are looking for the chick with big boobs. He he he. Yeah, we are ready to do you now. He he he. Yeah. We are ready to do you now. All right. Oh. Right. Right. Yep, I, I, I think I got a big enough hard drive to take care of that for you. Um, wi woman in video is dragging a garden hose. Beavis, what's that? Butthead. A uh hoe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what's that thing she's dragging behind her? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, fart knocker. This sucks. Change it. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and the guy in the mirror, he, he was looking at my wiener. <laughs> That's you, dumbass. No. No, I know. I, I, I'm in the bathroom, but... Uh, there's a guy in the bathroom, and he's looking at me. I'm like, hey, stop looking at me. <laughs> Dumbass. <sighs> I know, Zeke. Let's look at Beavis and Butthead Rule 34 while we wait. That is not a Rule 34 that I want to see. I'm not even, I'm not even partly curious about that. You the boys have been whacking off in my tool shed? Never seen boys do so much whacking. I want you to kick me in the jimmy! Uh, <laughs> do it! Now, can you remember their names, like the names of the teachers and stuff? I'm having a tr I'm having trouble remembering their their actual like character names. Like, what was the the gym teacher's name? Was it was it just Dickerson? There was Mr. McVicker. So McVicker was the gym teacher. I think, yeah, Dickerson might have been the, the principal. What's the worst thing to drop out of? Aviation school. Van, oh, that's right, Van Dreesen. Oh, Coach Buzzcut. Coach Buzzcut was his name. That's right. And then Van Dreesen was the hippie guy. Yep. Yep, Dari was there. The neighbor, yeah, their neighbor who was Proto Hank, yes. Um. Was it just Mr. Anderson, the neighbor? <laughs> This, the, the principal was that was like, oh, you, you, you boys, you, you, you're, you're in big trouble. You, you've been, I heard, I heard you've been setting fires. Yeah, always shaking because he's, because he's got the DTs. Yep. They, they got their, their first, their, they got their start on, um, uh, liquid television with a with a sketch called Todd or Todd 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 is the cool guy with the fucking muscle car that he puts him in the trunk and drives around with him no um um frog baseball a little uh sketch called frog baseball on on liquid television 
Aeon Flux also got its start on, on Liquid Television. I don't think the Max got was on Liquid Television. I think the Max was just its own thing, right? I don't think the Max started on Liquid TV, did it? Oddities, the head, right? Wasn't the head, didn't the head get its start on Liquid TV? I could be wrong about that though. <coughs> no, no, this is, I'm just trying, this is how I remember it. I don't know if I'm right or not. Um, remember that puppet show, the puppet show with that biker chick who was always smoking, but it was all puppets. That one sticks out in my memory, not because it was good, but because man, there's no other fucking place you could see something like that. No liquid TV, troll man, well before crank anchors. Do you want to update or install DirectX? Sure. Updating or installing, you know, take your pick, whatever. Oh, DirectX Media. Sure. I'm going to regret doing that. I just know it. I should have just said no. I already have all the drivers I need. Why does you have a period after it? Because it's Beavis and Butt at Do You University. That's why. It's a double entendre. Oh, Syphil and Ollie. Syphil and Ollie. Syphil and Ollie show. Uh, Celebrity Deathmatch started there? I don't think so. I think Celebrity Deathmatch came way well after um, uh, Liquid TV was already done. <clears throat> All right. In uh, do you. Let's go. I should have looked at the details. It's the same problem that, um, that, uh, uh what, was, what was that other game? The Panic in the Park was having. Isn't it? Invalid page fault in module beavis.exe. Oh, hey, first time chat. God bless you, Miles of Danger. Run the game in compatibility mode. Woo! First one of the day. Just a general error. Well, we meet again, general error. Sorry, that's, I mean, I, CD Ramathon is an entire month, uh, Miles of Danger. So running it in compatibility mode is, is a meme around here during this month. Because it rarely, if ever, works. Yeah, compat compatibility mode is the lupus diagnosis of CD Ramathon. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there's Steve Machine with the with the other meme for this month. Don't you know this is on GOG? Time to buy an old computer. Yep, shit we've been through. Over and over and over again. Fuck. Uh, I, like, 
I don't have a, like, I, I don't, if it's just a general error, like, I don't know what, what we can do. And also, it fucked up my, my screen here. <laughs> It's not in full screen anymore. It's it, what the fuck is even happening? It changed the resolution. Yeah, it went. It changed it to six forty by four eighty. Fucking asshole game. <sighs> hmm. Hold on. Well, I, I mean, the only thing I... L, l, hmm. Okay. Let's, let's first, let's just try a restart. Start there. Start simple. Start simple. Shut up. <clears throat> yes, we actually we did get Gabriel Night Three working on this on this OS. I'm wondering if installing the uh, the Windows or the DirectX stuff. I wonder if that fucked it up because this already had good stuff. I wonder if it overwrote stuff that actually was would work. Oh wait. Well, sure, play game. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Now the disc is working, because you can hear the audio, obviously. I check details. And the details say... Uh, well, if I could get there... Invalid page fault. On Beavis.exe. And just a general error. <laughs> so, if it's a memory error, then... And it also fucks my resolution, which is awesome. Thanks for that. Um, oh, I can't shut it down. Okay, fine. Oh, also, wait, hold on a second. Um, is there not like a, a, a maybe not, not a start button, but isn't there, is, there's always a thing down here at the bottom, isn't there? It's like shut down your computer. Yeah, there is. I just did that. Yeah, right there. there oh, it is. There is start. Okay, start at 98. Okay, so we're going to shut it down. And check the machine. Check what's going on. What do we got? Settings in the machine. We got 512 base memory, one CPU. Are you you're saying turn this down to 64? 512 is way too much for 98. Well, Silent Sean, I mean, you say that, but like it ran fucking Gabriel Knight just fine. So like, and this is another one of those things like I don't know like has this ever worked for something if you could like I would love to be wrong about this but it seems like I this has never worked okay fine I'll do it like this then there 64 
Okay, one thing at a time. So we change that. Let's see if turning the memory down helps. Uh, Agatong, thank you for the seven months. CJ102. I don't know if I thanked you for it. Programs. No. Ah, oh, because about it. There it is. There. I'll just put a desktop shortcut there. Nope. Illegal operation. Okay, my next... For my next trick... I'm going to try uninstalling it and not doing those drivers. Oh, God, you fucking motherfucker. There. Okay. So... Oh, actually, actually, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I am going to restore the old snapshot. Um, no, do not create a snapshot of the current machine state. It's fine. This is immaculate. There is nothing on it. And let's see, okay, this is how we can tell if it is the, the same snapshot. If we change the resolution, the uh, the background, the screensaver, should not stretch. That's how we know that it's the same version. Hey, there you go. Perfect, okay. <clears throat> Okay. So what is, is it eight by six is the version or is the, no. <laughs> okay. So this is the resolution that, that oh, it fucking hates it. Look at this. My mouse doesn't is doesn't is not cannot contain my mouse. It's not locked into the screen. I hate it. All right, we're gonna do eight by six. I don't give a shit. Okay. Oh, we gotta do the fucking install again. Screensaver, you mean background wallpaper? Whatever. Hi, buddy. Hi. Did you did you sense my frustration and you wanted to come in? Come in. No. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> I am. I do actually have a dog down here. Not just <laughs> talking to ghosts. All right. Okay. I gotta do this, bud. You can you can hang out, but I just gotta do this. Okay. <clears throat> so. We're gonna try and install it again. Oh fuck, we gotta okay. We gotta host drive D. There we go. Oh, do I have to restart to do it? Fuck another fuck. I forgot. I gotta I gotta host drive D before I turn it on. In this case, for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. 
Now we can do it. Do the voice. I feel bad that we took we took that from you, Zeke. No, it's all right. it's honestly it's okay. I'm not that I'm not that heartbroken over it. Could it be that the program runs in Windows 95 compatible mode that was shielded from DX Win hooking? Or maybe the program requires admin mode to be controlled. Well, Miles of Danger, I could also I could also run it on Windows 95. I'd rather do that than do uh, that shit, because I have Windows 95 as well. So if it doesn't work on 98, we can just go back to 95, rather than try and patch 98 to work like 95. We have 95 to try and run it. Okay, so we're doing a clean install. And we're not going to do the drivers, like the DirectX shit that they, that they say. Do you want to install or update? No. We're going to say no this time. But we do have to install it again, which means... Oh. Maybe I should do the typical install as well and run the rest of the disk. Just do the, the smaller install. Okay. Let's try that. It'll, it'll take less time too, hopefully. <laughs> it's half the size. Whenever someone offers you a DirectX install, a DirectX install, kids, what do we say? No! I have a better version, and your older version might fuck my shit up. That's good, children. Very good. But just for just for you know the sake of argument there, uh Miles of Danger, I'm going to copy that. Your your text box, your your wall of text here. I'm gonna put it in a notepad on the side here. And God help me. God help me if I have to do what you just what this is. If you would like the source page, yes, yes, you can link it, please. Link it up. Also, we could try scum. It's only one disc. So we could definitely try and run it off of scum. But it's not it's not a Sierra game, and scum really likes Sierra games and is kind of iffy on the rest. Okay, so <laughs> you could have just done the, the steps one, two, three that he put in there instead of the whole thing, right? I think. So you could try one of these three things. Disable all compatibility modes. Set the hook. Set the hook slash no shims flag. Fucking okay, what? Or set the main slash acquire admin caps flag. I guess we're, we might learn about flags today. Do you want to update or install DirectX? No, I don't. DirectX Media, no, I don't. Finish. All 
All right. Sexy 66. Sexy 66, baby. My nine-year-old just shouted, no, I'm so proud. <laughs> That's great. Technically, Cake, thank you for the 66 months. Oh. Fuck. It took a little bit more time this time, and I was like, oh, maybe. No. No. Okay. See, in 640 by 480, it, it's not full screen. It, 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 it changes the resolution, but it doesn't change, like... <laughs> it doesn't give me the start button back. There. Okay, now we have the start button. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is try and do the, the thing you guys said. Go to the program. Now, do you just do you just run the EXE? Oh, it's a sh Oh, that's a shortcut. Hold on. I got to I got to find it in my computer. Beavis, there it is. There we go. Okay. I, okay, is there a, hold on, did I miss it? Not gonna be there because it's not Windows 10. Yeah, no compatibility mode in 98. Go back to the properties you had previously. Well, the, uh, that was just the properties of the shortcut. Miles of Danger. This is the shortcut. See, right there. Oh, it, oh, it's the shortcut properties that you have to run as an administrator? What? Or you have to change? Oh, you add the flag with the... Oh, this is the flag where you put the flag thing? Oh, fuck. Okay, so the, I thought we were I thought we were still on compatibility mode. Okay. The totally different thing. Find target. Okay. No. Not that. Okay. Target locked. Stay on target. Okay. Can you pull up the error message in full again? <laughs> no. Why does 640 fuck with my mouse so much? It's taking a stack dump. All right. Screenshot this. And I'm going to scroll down. And screenshot that. There you go.
Why not cop? No, somebody else drew. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I? I can't. There we go. Can I control C that? Nope. B. Man, I'm glad the last thing I copied copied wasn't something personal. <laughs> yeah, um, Celtic Knight. The, I was gonna bring that up to uh, Miles of Danger that you are you are uh, um, looking at a post of somebody that's trying to get it to run on Windows 10. Not from the disc. It says, I, I guess you grab some stuff at my abandonware, which means ISOs. Okay. So... Next thing I'm going to try, while we're figuring that out, I do want to try, um, or not, I guess we're not going to shut it down. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I, I know. There we go. Yeah, there was an error message I wasn't seeing for whatever reason. Cancel. There. What is running? Okay, I don't know what the fuck program they thought that wasn't shutting off, but whatever. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do real quick, just real quick, because sometimes, sometimes Scum will run it, and if, if Scum knows it and can run it, it goes fast. So I'm gonna do that quick, just to check. Okay, scum, at least knows Beavis and Butthead do you. Okay. So, I mean, this might be, this might just, might, it, this might just work. Scum is very good when it, when it knows the game, it, it's pretty good at making it work. Oh, this game. Oh, the game you're about to start is not yet fully supported by Scum VM. As such, it is likely to be unstable. And any saved game you might you make might not work in future versions. Oh, future versions of Scum. Okay. Oh, does it just go into the game like that? Well, I didn't I didn't think Scum would work, and the reason why is because it's not a Sierra game. Scum is very good with Sierra and, you know, sometimes other games, but not often. Uh, this is a GT interactive game, so yeah. Okay, so hold on. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, and LucasArts. Yeah, yeah. Sierra and LucasArts. Yep. So does it just like start like this? There's no like menu screen at the beginning? Or is this the menu screen? <laughs> Okay. There's supposed to be a menu screen. Let's keep our stuff in this bag. I know, butthole. I already put our nacho money in there. <laughs> um Oh oh there we go. Exit. Okay. Uh Scum is the engine LucasArts used to make their games come started out as a VM to play LucasArts game, but they've been adding to on more and more compatible games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um okay, how do I pull up the just the menu menu? Like, is there an options menu or key? How about keystrokes? Anything? Is it just, is it just mouse? Is it mouse only? Sorry, I am looking at the manual. If your cursor turns red on, okay. You knew something, talk something. What? Well, I, I want to know how to save the game. There's got to be a, a, a built-in save in the game, right? Hold on. Well, I mean, yes, escape is the first thing. F1, F2. Nope, none of the Don't funk. Get some of this horse cum porridge. I made it myself. <laughs> I mean, there, there's, no, as you might imagine, there's nothing helpful in the instructions manual as far as like saving or anything. Uh, let's like make a salad with those salad dongs. <laughs> no, no, it says the the L and R in the thought bubble are they stand for the left and right mouse buttons. <laughs> Control map. To play the game, just put the cursor on a person, an item, or edge of screen, and see what it does. Red when it's on an item, person, or area, you can pick it up, use it, talk to it, or go there. Simple. There are lots of people and items to interact with. Click as much stuff as you can. A thought cloud appears when your cursor passes over certain items, places, and people. The L and R in the cloud stand for left and right on the mouse button, left and right mouse buttons. The picture ab above the L and R represent what each button will do. The gears mean you can use something. The megaphone means you can talk to someone. The, the spyglass means, or the uh, magnifying glass means you can look at something. The exit thing will means you can move to other screens. They don't mention anything about saving it or anything. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. Absolutely zero. Okay, I uh, looked at a Let's Play this game. 
<laughs> this part of the game is you started 15 minutes in? Why? <laughs> that is so fucking weird. Control F5 is, is scum command, jerk offs. I know I can save it in scum. I want to save it in the game. I want, I want the game to fucking function correctly. From memory, you should see the game start with a Star Wars style scroll. Yeah, yeah, so it's not starting correctly. Hmm. Game options. Hmm. Don't touch any keys while it, when it starts. I didn't the first time. Okay. So Maybe, maybe it's time we update the scum because I, you know, haven't updated it since October of 22. So, uh, is scum, it's like scum is its own website, right? Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to real quick. Delete my browsing history. Just, you know, just in case. Yeah, just, just browsing history. That's all. That's all. Yeah, just go ahead. There you go. There we go. Okay. Now it's safe to Google stuff, I hope. No, it's, it's, it's still, it's still got some of my history in there. <laughs> Maybe just from today. Okay. Oh, whoops. It was scum VM downloads. Oh, you know what I could do instead of doing that? I could just fucking do this. Just black out the screen. Instead of like changing scenes so you just look at my face like. Uh, uh, um, scum version 2.8.0. I don't even know what, what version am I running? 2.6.1. Okay, so I'm a few versions behind. I'm almost three. Yay, almost three, Roy handles it. Thank you. Oh my god, Vincent, I didn't think I didn't shout out your gifted subs. I was tunnel visioned. Um, also Sayara with 59, Jim who with 22, Spencer with 300 bits. Thank you. Vincent gifting out subs to beer addict, Linux 35, Annie Mays, Karnan, and I'm just KG. Hail Berseekers. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Here's the installer. Let's do it. Okay. Next. Yep. Uh, sure. Why not? For now. All right, run it, run it back. There we go, December 17th, 2023 now. Okay. 
So should we, well, it has all the games that previously on there. Should we remove the game and re-add it? Let's just do that. Fuck it. I don't care. Let's just do it. It's very, very short period of time or amount of time to do that. Add game. Choose. Okay. There. Okay. Start. Oh, it's still not yet fully supported by ScumVM. Okay. Hands off the keyboard. Fuck! I mean, if there was a way to go to like the main menu, how do I fucking even get there? I don't know how to find that butthole Dean. We're not gonna mention his name, Dick Longfellow? Wait, what? Uh, oh. I think we can, like, find places on this thing, and then, like, go there or something. Oh, in the Let's Play, you have to walk to get to the cafeteria so it can't be accidental skipping anyway. Uh, Grim Engineer, thank you for 79 months. No, hold on. It. See if you can find something to eat. Uh, sometimes it's like hard to find a beaver when you want one. <sighs> yeah, really. <laughs> if scum fails, open command in 98 and type scan reg restore. This might help. Okay. I mean, the thing is, we got it working in scum. It's just... I want to go check out the chicken. <laughs> You're a wolf, beaver. <laughs> it's just not... It's not starting on the, on the right screen. And now it's not responding. Oh, okay. It was moving to the... To this place. Damn. Sign our sheet. Because we want to go to the party and score with college slots. <laughs> Oh, you must be from the orientation tour. Uh, no, sir, we're American. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what you need to do for my signature is to milk that cow. Well, okay, stop. Just stop. You need to... Stop it. Just stop it. Um... I don't want to install it again. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Windows 95 has that that stupid uh oh my god. Okay, so this snapshot or not snapshot. This this version or this current state of Windows 95 should have like the the color enhancement thing on it, right? Nope. It's fucked up. We fucked it up. So let's restore this. Oh, God. But this won't have it, though. That's the thing. This won't have it. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, what if, what if we start this? Okay. 
What I'm talking about is the 3D, like, virtualization and the colors, like, the fact that you can change uh, into, from, you know, you only get one option on the colors and the display settings. I'm just going to boot it up and see what happens. That's normal. Nothing to be concerned about. That is something to be concerned about, the, the sound quality there. Okay. So, okay, quick question, guys. If can I have two versions of Oracle on my PC, so I don't have to like uninstall one and or and, you know uh, uninstall one and install the old one? Because I need two versions to run certain games because of Windows ninety five and the the three D acceleration thing. Uh, install in a different location. Okay, so I can install it in. Oh, I can install it on my on my my SSD, my my that one. Okay, next. Browse. There we go. This is where we need to put it. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna put it on. There we go. Right there. Just put it in the S drive. Okay. Now it's not it's not labeled. Should it be should I should I label that? Yeah, I should add a folder. Okay. Um Yeah, old Oracle. Uh, six point oh two four. Oops. There. And it, if it's not there, it'll create it, right? Fuck. It didn't ask me if I if it's like it's not there. Do you want us to create it? it? Will it create it? It'll just make it, right? VirtualBox does not support installing two versions on the same computer. Fuck it. Fuck it then. I mean, it's, it's not that long. It's just, I just would rather avoid this step. Of going back and forth between them. Yeah, just had to wait a second. Yeah, uh, if you're wondering why we're doing this, uh, 6.024 is the last version of VirtualBox that had the 3D um, uh, acceleration that a lot of games from then require in order to look correct or run right or at all. And they got they did away with it because of a security issue that it caused. So I'm throwing fucking caution to the wind. All right, there we go. Old Oracle, current state, nothing, I guess. Uh, 
Have I played the Twin Peaks game yet? No, not yet. <sighs> Why does it sound like shit? It shouldn't. Oh, this has panic still on it. Okay, let's let's uninstall that. Um and then snapshot the fucking thing. Uh settings, control panel. <coughs> oh, first first let's check the uh Nope. It doesn't even have what I wanted anyways. I don't know what happened to it, but it doesn't have it. I fucked it all up with this fucking stupid goddamn game. Panic in the park. You just fucked me so hard. Sign the show and we tried scum. And uh, Scum uh, works, but it jumps you like 20 minutes ahead in the game for some reason. Um, to install a new program, no. No, I want to remove programs. What is this? Ninety five, man, it's fucking <sighs> greeting from the Beavis and Butter Do You community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not scum. The VM you used for Gabriel Knight 3 does not work in this version of Virtual Box. Okay, uh, didn't I play Gabriel Knight 3 on scum? Oh, I didn't play it on scum, did I? Because it was three discs. Uh, no, I played it on uh, 98. Yeah, we tried 98, didn't work. It had a, 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 a script, or not a script error. Someone else will tell you, it had an error. How the fuck do I uninstall the program on fucking 95? Well, I mean, it doesn't even matter because it's not running the, the shit I need. It's not running the fucking color correction thing. All right. Maybe XP to the rescue. Windows XP is pretty fairly reliable. Oh, is it? Hold on. Is it hosting? Will it host? Oh, good. It does. Okay, good. Hey, look at that. Okay. Yeah, I can do compatibility mode in XP, so that's good. Install the full game, less CD ROM usage. No, no, listen. Uh, the Seer. We tried both. We tried a, 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 a bigger install, a smaller install. Same error. So it's not that. I, I'm not, we're not even getting the game started. You hear the music in the, back, in the background, so you know the CD is spinning, but it has that, um, that scripting error or whatever.
Yeah, a hardware hardware or driver issue. Or, well, memory, right? Memory issue, yeah. Well, I suppose we don't have to sit here in silence. Zeke, when February comes, will you return to some of the games you didn't launch? Uh, you didn't launch in January? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, there, there are a couple that I, uh, maybe that I'll play, but there's a few that I'm going to wait on, like Infinite Wealth. I'm going to wait a couple of months at least on that one before I fire that up because uh, I want to give people a chance. Since I wasn't there at the start, I want to give people a chance to uh, play it, watch streams of it, whatever. And then, you know, I'll be your sloppy seconds. Oh, you were thinking about games in CD-ROM that didn't launch, but you wanted to play. I do, I, every once in a while during the year, Eric the Viking, I uh, I play a CD-ROM game, but more often than not, Eric, I'll play it. <laughs> that's that's when I, I, I allow myself to find it on GOG or Steam or whatever, because it's not cd rom and there's no fucking rules. So I will probably go back and play like, from I'll, I'll probably start over, but play Freddy Farkas again because that game was really fun. Um, but yes, I do that from time to time. Oh, Morrowind. I said I'm going to play Morrowind, but I'm going to play it modded and not like modded uh, in any way that makes it easier or whatever, but just makes it more quality of life. And yes, I will check my UPS this this coming Monday, my day off. I will check the UPS and grab grab all the packages that are waiting there. Do you want to update us? No, I don't. Finish. All right. I'm not I'm not optimistic about this, but let's see what happens. And now we wait. <coughs> I mean, did it silently crash in the background? Uh, what was the uh, other task manager uh, short short command that besides control alt delete? Because control alt delete will hit my Windows ten. I want I just want to hit XP. Control shift escape. Thank you. Yep, not responding. <sighs> Chad, 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 Chad. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Why didn't it do D's nuts again? God, did I put a password on this? Come get some of this horse cum porridge. Okay, it was just admin. I, I made it myself. Uh, 
If I wanted to save, I'd go to a grocery store. Hey hey hey, e hey hey hey, dash much love and thanks Zeke from Longtime Lurker, you're a powerhouse. Thank you, Ian Oblivion. Appreciate you. Uh, Grim Engineer, thank you for 79 months. Enter Haggis, thank you for the four. And Ian, thank you for the six bucks. Uh, if I wanted to save, I'd go to a grocery store. <laughs> Okay. Running compatibility mode for 95. Um, and then do that uh, and that. Or just the one. We'll do that one too. How about that? No. It's not even it's not even firing up the music. Glad you liked Freddy. Looking forward to the rest. I did, Guywood. Thank you. I mean, I really don't know what this will do. You god damn it. There we go. This I mean this is the, when we fuck with direct X, the, the, that's how you know the fucking shit is broken. Do not install that. Okay. Whatever, dude. Um, you could try downloading the game from Abandonware Games, get the 64-bit installer, and then change the pass file to your CD-ROM drive, run under 10. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, oh, I can't. Uh, so yeah, sixty-four, whatever. Yeah, sixty-four bit. Um, yeah, we tried running it on ten, and it says <clears throat> yes. Incompatibility with a 64-bit version of Windows. Ugh, I hesitate to try it, even try it on PCM because it won't fucking the sound won't work right. But fucking why not? Let's fucking do it. Sure. No, not this one. Um. Oh, we we ran it uh, on DOSBox X, right? And then we did the um. 
Si Said so ran it, run it with um. Oh, fuck, we did. We had to do this a few times for um another game. That's not it. Um. Uh, just download the sixty four bits compatible. Okay, I mean, will that will that run it off the disc? Just test it on Windows 11 with mounted ISO, because that's the same as 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 the heart as the actual disc. Okay. Copy folder Beavis to program files. <laughs> it's been tested Windows 7, not 8.1 or 10. This does say if you run the real thing, so it should be with disk. <clears throat> well, it says copy the folder Beavis. That's the game, though. I don't want to do that. That's, 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 that's the game. That's the whole thing, right? Just put your CD drive letter in the Apath 64 reg. Okay. It didn't, well, it's not there. It didn't install it. Okay, whatever. Sure. I'll just, I'll just fucking cheat, I guess. There it is. Okay. Modify app path 64. This, this. To the drive letter. If you burned it is on the real thing, okay. Modify app path 64, CD ROM path to D, then. Which is my, yeah, my D drive, yeah, this drive. Okay. That's it. After doing above, Run and add to your registry all three reg files. Run what? Oh, 
Oh, just run? Just, 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 just this? Oh, double click them. Oh, just double click them? Okay. I saved it. Pretty sure. Yeah, see around path D. Yep, I saved it. Adding information. Oh, so this will add it to the registry. Okay. 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 And now run it. Now run the disk. So hold on, I didn't install it. So I, I, so I ran the install without the disk is what you're saying? Had to test it. I had to test it, man. I had to test it. CD popped out. Game stops. Okay. It has to run off the disc. That's the fucking one rule of the month. It has to run off the disc. Or at least use the disc. Enter Haggis. I made sure just now. Beavis and Butthead are not role models. They're, They're not, not even human. human. They're, They're cartoons. cartoons. Some, Some of the things they, they do would cause a person to get hurt, hurt expelled, arrested, possibly, possibly deported. deported. To put, put it another, another way, way, don't try, try this at home. home. No, I just tested it. I just wanted to make sure that if I popped the disc out, the game would not continue to run. And why are you getting so fucking butthurt about it? You should be, you should be happy. This is how it's supposed to start. Good. At least it seems this is how it's supposed to start. But that's that's it. That's that's the options. That's all you get. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we got it installed. It only took us an hour and a half-ish. Not bad. Not bad for, for uh, 